The distance constraint allows us to establish a maximum, minimum, or exact distance between two objects. Let's start by adding a distance constraint to the blue circle. We'll then use the red ellipse as a target. Let's start by selecting the blue ellipse and then adding a distance constraint. You'll notice that once we've added the constraint, we have this red circle appear, and this is showing us the distance. Remember, this is just a visual aid that we'll use to know what distance that we're working with. We can change this distance property using the constraints property. You can see that value here. As we adjust it, you'll see that the ellipse gets bigger or smaller depending on the number. Now let's select a target, and in this case, we're gonna select the red ellipse. You'll see that as soon as we select that smaller red ellipse, then our distance indicator snaps to the ellipse. Now, as we move the blue ellipse around, you'll see that we can't actually get it any further, um, but what we can do is actually move it closer with no problem. Um, and that is all because of the type of constraint that we have set up right now. Similarly, we can move the red ellipse and it will actually drag that blue ellipse around until we push it closer. So as we move it on the outside, we're moving the blue ellipse, and then as soon as we get inside of that distance, then the blue ellipse stops moving. Now let's check out the other properties that we have. Currently, our mode dropdown, if you look here, is set to closer, which is the behavior that we've seen so far. We can change the mode by clicking on the dropdown, and let's look at how further works. Now it's gonna work the other way around, where our blue ellipse can move as far away from the red ellipse as we want, but as soon as we start trying to get closer, you'll notice that our ellipse stops moving. The same is true for the red ellipse. If we move it around, we can move it anywhere outside of that distance constraint, but as soon as we try to get it inside, you can see that we're now pushing that blue ellipse around. Now let's go back to the options and check out the last option, which is exact. Now, as you might expect from the name, we'll no longer be able to move anywhere further or closer than the exact distance that we have defined here. So you can see we can move the blue ellipse and it's staying at that exact distance. And if we move the red ellipse, then we're actually gonna be dragging that blue ellipse along with it. There's lots of ways that we can use the distance constraint while changing the mode. For example, we could use it to keep a character's pupil inside the eye. 